editorial work is happening in, in Seattle. Oh, anywhere. You know, all the magazines are in crisis, including our own trade magazines are in crisis. If you haven't noticed, it's a good time to be in school. <laughs> My sectioning for this is really simple. It's the same as her haircut. It's a horseshoe section on the top, a middle section, and a bottom section. And we're just working in what we call light medium and dark. So it's five, six, and seven. It's really simple. And I like to convert my colors to simple things like where's my light go, where's my medium go, where's my dark go. It just makes it simple. And even when you're doing your blondes, that's a really great thing. You know, rather than just a highlight and a low light, I just think that's light. Just light, medium, and dark. Just, and maybe the medium is their natural color. But at least be thinking about where it is. Not just where you're putting your light and your dark. Because where you're leaving their hair, if that's the medium color, it has to be part of the light. Does that make sense? Cut up short and 
super like long dog ear guys hanging down, you know. There's something a little softer, like little Katie Holmes, you know, when she cut her hair. Yeah. Some sort of it definitely brought along the bob a little bit more though, you know, any, any variation of the bob. Decade, hmm? So um, on the side here, yeah. we brought in a little bit, um, I've shortened it up a little bit. Um, Shauna wants to wear it sort of up and back lots of the time, but she'll probably wear it down too. So we want to make sure we have a nice line coming here for when she wears it down. So I started off with my first section here, and I took an angled party, and then, but then I brought it out flat to make it horizontal. So I'm kind of blending to my shortness, but more flat. Instead of just bringing it all down, cutting one single line, I'm going more diagonally like this and cutting a flat, straight line coming across. It makes it a little bit softer, I think, than cutting it all at the same time. So we just did that all the way down. And then, as I moved up, I took it more sort of like a short grad and brought it out. And I chipped into it. I just point cut into it so that it makes the line a little bit softer once again. And the reason why I want to do it this way is because I kind of want the hair to flow. And if she's wearing it up this way, it's going to help it push up and back. Does that make sense? Yeah. So now I've just gone until I've run out of hair. And now I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. Just like, because um, I, I kind of struggle with this sometimes, doing like a asymmetrical side or whatever. You go, and you just do that angle. You either go um, forward or backwards. I, I mean, I get how it's, like, it's sort of like layers. Does it kind of double it a little bit? But it depends on, so can you explain that one more time? So you can go back and you know, like which, which way. Right, so when you come forward, if you're cutting forward, you're going to push the hair forward. So if you want the hair to come towards the face, then you cut forward. It's like when you're cutting a graduated bob or something, that shape is supposed to come forward and you're pointing, you're, cut, you're cutting towards the face. The hair gets moved forward. When you want it to kind of move away from the face, back off, you want to come back, diagonal back. And that is starting to cut in a shape that's going to push the hair away. It's also going from, in the case of like a short graduation haircut, you're going from short to long. So it's going from a short hair that's going to help build up to long hair, which is going to really help it stay up. So you're going to have all these little short guys holding up the longer hair so that it's going to stand up more. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah. yeah. So, well, then what do we look like? You know, what are we supposed to look like? We don't really know. I'm still waiting for this decade, you know, something to happen. Like there's just a redo, a redo of, another, of another thing. Like what does it really look like? 